absolutely so much fun. It's incredible. The atmosphere is so much fun. Uh, it's, it's a good time for all ages, all groups. It is finally here. The big event thousands of people have been waiting for all year. The USA BMX Grand Nationals return to Tulsa this weekend. It's the big finale for the BMX racing season and the adrenaline is going to be off the charts. Am I right, you two? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but if you need more convincing just how big this event is, we have two Olympic athletes in the building this morning, and we welcome professional BMX racer Connor Fields right there and Brooke Crane. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for and having us. And welcome to Tulsa. Now, both of these two right here have competed in the 2012 and the 2016 Summer Olympics, and Connor is the first American to win an Olympic BMX gold medal. And Brooke finished fourth in the world at Rio. And explain, if you would, one of you can start, explain the Grand Nationals here in Tulsa. What happens? So it is the uh, last race of the season for the USA BMX Series. So the USA BMX Series races uh, over all over the country starting in January and it finishes this weekend here in Tulsa. Um, so it's the biggest event that we have in the United States and in terms of numbers, it's the biggest event in the world. Uh, there's going to be people here from over 25 different countries, close to all 50 states, from three years old all the way up to 65 years old, including probably 15 Olympians competing here on Saturday night. And um, yeah, it's the biggest BMX race in the world. So if you aren't even, if you aren't interested in bike racing of any kind, this is really something to see. I mean, it's the top of the line athletes, isn't it? You, yes. you could go all the way to Tokyo in, in 2020 to watch, or you could watch Saturday night in, in, in Tulsa. Tulsa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get the and, same athletes. And women are now part of this big race. Yeah, well, I mean, women have been involved in, in BMX race. Have they? From yeah. early on, but, um, you know, every year the field gets bigger and bigger and the competition gets more and more strong. And um, I think we, we're, we can say now that it's just as exciting to watch the women race as it is the men. Um, we, we are jumping most of the jumps that the men jump and we're trying to put on just as much of a good show as the men do. Yeah, well this event filled up more than uh, 14,000 hotel rooms in years past. So, it, I mean, a ton of people come out for this, don't they? Oh yeah, you gotta make sure you're booking your hotel month in advance, months in advance, otherwise you yeah. can get stuck without having a hotel room. Wonder what it is about BMX. They love, they love coming to Tulsa. I wonder if it's because it's, it's centrally located, but they're moving their headquarters here too to downtown Tulsa, north of downtown or east of downtown. I think originally the idea for being the championship weekend for the United States was the central location. You know, it's fair for people from California, it's fair for people from Florida. But then once I, I, once they started coming here, I think they realized like, wow, they really, you know, like having us here. They're welcoming, they're appreciative. It's a great partnership and things just kind of went bigger and bigger and bigger from there to the point where like you said, they're moving the headquarters here. They're also going to have a training facility here for the future generations. They're going to have the Hall of Fame here. Um, I, I'm glad that you know Las Vegas, where I live, has a direct flight to Tulsa because I think I'll probably be coming out here more often. Yeah, no kidding. We're, yeah. we're, we're always <laughs> glad to have you all. And we, we have a video, USA BMX, posted on Facebook. It's a virtual track at Expo Square. And so how does this track at the Expo Square, how does it compare to others that you've had a chance to practice and race on? Um, everywhere we go, every track is, is different. Um, so, I mean, we haven't been able to ride the new track yet. Um, yeah. Practice doesn't kick off till Thursday for us. Um, so seeing it on the video, you know, it, it, it looks great, but we can't really tell you how it's gonna ride yet or anything. But uh -huh. um, usually the Grands is always a fun track. It's always long, um, it's always pretty challenging, but cause, you know, it's the biggest race of the year. Yeah. That's, so, um, that's always one of the things that myself and other BMXers enjoy is that every track is different. So when you come, it's, you know, it's different from track and field or swimming where you're doing this, the same event again and again. That's true. You show it? up and part of the game is learning the new track and who can learn it the best in the short amount of time that you have to learn it. Yeah. So we're going to go out there tomorrow and everybody's going to have 45 minutes to practice and then you start racing on Friday. Are these your sponsors? Yes. <laughs> Rockstar Energy Drink and Monster? Yep. yep. Yeah. So you guys, you have a sponsor. I mean, you're like, you're professional athletes, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, we are so glad to have you in Tulsa. We truly are. And we let everybody else know that too. And let's get out and support them because uh, you guys have made an investment in Tulsa. So let's make an investment with BMX. Yep. Thank Appreciate you. it, Connor. See you Saturday night. Yeah, Brooke and Connor.
And the Grand Nationals, we have the schedule up right there. It's at River Spirit Expo Center there at the fairgrounds. Friday, Race of Champions starts at 7 a.m. And there's lots of things to do through the entire weekend. So uh, it's going to wrap up when? Saturday night? S Saturday night is the Pro Championship. So okay. that's the show. Um, so if you're looking for the show to see the best athletes, the Olympic athletes, Brooke, Saturday. myself, that's Saturday evening. Okay. Uh, but there's going to be racing pretty much all day from Friday at 7 until about 8 o'clock on Sunday night. Okay. Thank you guys for being here. We really do appreciate it. Let's head over to Weather Center with Brandon.